what a day yesterday. Lobster dinner. Live like a poor man and eat like a king. That was a weird day yesterday. Something that you try to remember, but some things you just want to forget. Look how calm the sea is. Yesterday. Yesterday it was so calm you didn't even have a wave out there. I'm gonna flood today. But within hours, once the sun comes up, it starts crashing and banging. And... Well, we're not gonna do too much today. We're gonna eat rice and beans for dinner. Won't have the same breakfast like I had yesterday. That was a good breakfast. Coconut, banana, mango, Jamaican apples. Since I've been here, I haven't paid a penny for it. Well, when I first came here, I bought some mangoes like a stupid idiot. And the guy watched me buy it, didn't say nothing. We come up here and he goes, Why'd you buy the mangoes for him? I said, well, for breakfast, he goes, hell, we got a shitload of trees, mango trees everywhere. Why? Did... Yeah, I spent like $500 on shit that I didn't even need. Jamaican dollars. <laughs> for nothing. This is what's going on. These guys want me to invest my money and build him a store. He's really wanting to open a store and he's hurting, hitting me up for money. To build him a store. I'm going to try to get a work permit in Jamaica. <coughs> if I can get a work permit then. I'm going to go ahead and invest my money in Jamaica. Every penny I have. There's bananas I ate yesterday. Believe it or not, when they turn yellow like that, just a bit, just a little bit, that's some good eating bananas right there. That's some of the best bananas I've ever had. Trust me, the best sweet tasting bananas I've ever had is right there. Sitting right in front of your eyes. Yeah, I'm going to pick that one right there. That's my breakfast for today. Get my knife and clean it up and chop that off. Yeah, just a little bit of yellow on there and you think it's green. Man, they're just ripe. If they get a little bit yellower, they splitting. They're splitting in half. So, I don't know if I should invest money or not. Beautiful place to live though. Not hot, not cold. You know, it gets a little chilly at nighttime where I crawl inside my sleeping bag. But not bad, man. Nothing to complain about. For me, invest my money though, man. God damn it. And the guy tells me to get the hell out of here. Or I can't come back to Jamaica. And I sure can't swim to Jamaica from the United States to Mexico. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a tight position right now. He wants to build a restaurant and a bar right here. So last night we were talking about building it for... 
building two two little bedroom apartments right here and then from there once we have our bedrooms to sleep at we'll strip all of this down tear it all down he wants to keep his bathroom a cement bathroom I got man I don't think so build everything all bamboo a restaurant a bar up here But if I invest money, man, I don't think I'm going to make any money up here just by that. You're going to have to have little bungalows up here. Attract the tours. Hard question, man, because like I told him, I says. I bet you not too many Jamaicans have any money. I should I say there's a lot of Jamaicans that don't have money. Very little have money to go out and eat with. And he said, Yep, that's true. And I said, Man, the only thing we're gonna be able to hope for is tours. But the bungalows will bring in the Jamaicans. The ones who are traveling that don't have a place to sleep at. And I told him about that. I said, you know, you got a good chance of people spending a night here. Jamaicans. Looking for a cheap vacation. But I said, there's a lot of Americans and a lot of people around the world who want to come to Jamaica, but they can't afford $300, $400 night rooms or $90 room hostels. You know, $20. Yeah, a lot of people can afford 20 bucks. 15 10 everybody can afford 10 bucks. Anybody can afford 10 bucks a night. You know, in Mexico, they, uh, all the hotel rooms are $30 a night now, and it used to be 3 bucks a night. And at $3 a night, fuck, I was sleeping in a hotel every night. Why would I want to rent a room out or a house out when I could go travel around from town to town to town to town to town to town? Spend a week, two weeks, two months, three months there and go somewhere else. Knowing you had a house to sleep in, just a hotel and there's the hotel. See, that's the way Jamaica should become. Ten dollar nights. All over everywhere, all over the hotels, and they'd have more tours. They would, like Mexico used to have. But nobody can afford thirty-dollar night rooms, can you? I know I can't. That's pretty expensive, especially when you're paying rent, like I'm still paying. Well, I was hoping you, everybody can see the sunrise today so I can go on with my life. Roll up another joint. And wait for it tonight to roll around so I can go back to bed. Yeah, today is Sunday, I think June 19th or some shit like that today. And no sign yet, but it's trying to peek itself out of the ocean clouds. Or the sea clouds, should I say. Yeah, the sea clouds. Good title. It's going to be a nice, beautiful blue day today. Look at that blue sky. Yeah, yesterday it was overcasted. The day before it was overcasted. There's your son.
There's your son. Well, everybody has a good day like I'm going to have in Jamaica, or try to have. Yeah, don't become sarcastic with the Jamaicans. They, you offend them. The other guy says, yeah, I take off for like four or five months at that time, and it goes like this. And I said, oh, you're going to take off for four or five months? And I did the same face like he did. I said, what about the, I said, what about the, I said, what about the work you have to do? And he goes, well, I'm going to be doing that too. But he got pissed off and sort of disappeared in life. So that's the way it goes. Don't piss him off. So I gotta apologize today and say I'm sorry. Just the way it is. I shouldn't have done that yesterday. But I was saying, man, you're gonna disappear for five months and you want me to invest money here? I, s I think he, we both stuck our foot in our mouths at the same time. But I can imagine a bar and grill right here. Overlooking the vet sea, Caribbean Sea, with bungalows built all over this mountain. Just little bungalows, nine or ten of them. And back in the woods, we'll have private bungalows going back in the jungles. The owner of the place. And they have bungalows built. Now I know that, like I said, I talked to the twin brothers. And they said we can build a bungalow up there on top of this hill. And the other twin brother said we can build a bungalow on the peak of his, on his beach that he owns. He owns private beach. We're gonna build a little bungalows here, or just probably set up tents here. I think we're just gonna set tents up here for everybody to sleep out on the beach. Where a hurricane comes, you just grab your tents and just walk away. Put them back when you want to. And then that private beach down there, man. <laughs> you should see that cove. I explained that to my other video. Well, I gotta roll up the joint. I know if I'm going to stay here, it's going to be for the rest of my life. Can I live here the rest of my life? Let's see, May and June, you got mongos, knee berries. Well, knee berries are year round. Anaki for dinner. May and June. You got coconuts, limes, bananas. And he says there's another tree. He says in a few months, there's a, fruits are coming off of this tree right here. And he says, this is the favorite fruit for Jamaica right here. I don't know the name of it. He just, said, he just mentioned this yesterday to me. I was asking him about what trees these were right here. He says, it's the most favorite tree in Jamaica. Everybody likes that fruit right there. Well... I guess I better start dreaming on. Don't have nothing better to do except just dream. Dream about things in life. That's all we can do. Man, my face is just peeling and peeling and peeling and peeling. My nose is peeling and peeling. Yeah, I must have... 500 layers of skin on my face right now because that's about how many layers have peeled off so far. Damn. Well, I'm just gonna go and roast me up a hot joint of marijuana, some good shit. Well, 
take care. You only got one life. So enjoy it to the fullest, right? Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. It's going to piss off my oldest daughter. She keeps on telling me, Why don't you buy us some land? Why don't you build us a house? Why don't you build us a future for us? <laughs> okay, if that's what you want, there's your house in Jamaica. There's your company in Jamaica. Go over there. Take care of the place after I'm dead. <laughs> that's going to piss them off. I know. They were expecting me to do it in Mexico. They weren't expecting me to do it on some island in the middle of nowhere where, where they can't get to it. 